What's going on? What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy RJXP, aka the Impactable Gamer, and welcome to the first of many top five zombies videos. But to be specific, I'm not going to only do zombies video, zombies top fives. I'll be doing other top fives like favorite games, favorite game types. But I mean, I can record uh, for this, and it's going to be Exo Zombies top five Exo Zombies wall weapons. Now let's get into it. Coming in at the number five spot, we have the Holy crap. <laughs> um, I only do one take on these videos. These videos are one take, so. At number 5, we got the MK14. Yeah, the MK14. The MK14 can be found in the starting room for the price of 500 points. That's enough you spawn in with. The MK14 is a single fire assault rifle, I think, classified under multiplayer. It's very good for headshots. It's very powerful up to round 5. And when you uh, upgrade it to Mark 4, Four, I think it's four. When you get to Mark Four, it gets a nice little auto, was it auto focus sight, which allows you to stand still and have it zoom in a little bit, which I always find cool. And whenever I feel like playing with the M14, I make sure I pick it up. That's the first thing I pick up. Coming at the number four spot, we have the AMR9. The AMR9 can be found in the main hub for twelve for a thousand points, not twelve thousand, a thousand points. It is a three round burst submachine gun. Now the gun has a three round burst, but honestly the fire rate is so quick that it doesn't feel like you're tapping the button as much as you think you are. The only problem I have with this gun, the gun is so great, the gun has good ammo count, good damage, it's really good up to around 10 plus. When you upgrade it to the Mark IV, it gets a thermal sight. Ugh. Ugh. That is the only problem I have with this gun, and that's why it's number four. Coming in at number three, we have the ARX 1600, maybe? It's the ARX something. Take my word for it. The ARX can be found past the exo suits in the exo testing room in a little doorway. It's like right outside the doorway. The ARX, another three round burst, assault rifle, costing 1250 on the wall, devastating the competition when it comes to three round burst weapons. It's got a great iron sight. The thing shoots kind of slow because it is a three round burst assault rifle. But the gun is nice on damage. Round 15 plus you'll get to. And the ARX, when you upgrade to Mark 4? Yeah, I'm, I gotta look it up. I can't remember. I think it's 4 that it gets a new sight. You get, I think, a red dot. Oh, crap. One take. Like I said, one take. Um, <laughs> Alright, I think it gets a red dot or it gets the red dot double sight. Either way, it's still a great gun. It'll, I'll show you in the video. You can just watch the video. You'll see what sight it gets. Coming in at the number two spot, we have the HBRA or the HBRA. The HBRA 3, maybe? No. Yeah, I don't care. It is an automatic uh, assault rifle with a fire rate slow enough to remind me of the MP40 from the classic Treyarch Zombies. Nice little nod, maybe. I don't know. But the weapon has nice damage, a great iron sight. It can be found in the morgue for 1250 that is a great price for this gun. I mean, the MP40, I'm pretty sure, was 1200 but I'm, I'm drifting off. Uh, the the Bra is a great gun. I love upgrading it up to Mark 20. I've done it once. The Mark 20 is a great version of it. When you upgrade it at Mark 4, it gets the autofocus sight, like the MK14. But it kind of sucks because the Bra has a great iron sight. The iron sight is beautiful. But what are you going to do? Coming in at the prestigious number one spot, we have the MP11. This gun is so beautiful. The gun looks nice. It fires quick. It's got. It feels like you've got rapid fire on it the whole time. It's just like in multiplayer. The automatic. Oh my lord! It is so nice. The fire rate's great. The only problem, the only problem I have with this gun, is its ammo count. The the clip is so low that it seems like you're reloading more than you should with speed cola or speed exo reload. It doesn't seem that bad, but it's reloading constantly because you can't not reload it. But it's great for points. Me and my cousin found a strategy where we trade and only use the MP11, only upgrade it when there's no chance we can go get ammo or we don't get a max ammo. By the end of round 20... We each had at least 10,000 plus, and we were spending money constantly because we were getting perks and stuff. But 
that's the top five. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry I messed up a lot. First um, top five. Hopefully the next one I'll be better. It won't be a zombies related one, I don't think. I have a lot of I got a notebook full of top fives and top tens that I want to do. But thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe. Share with all your friends. See you later. Peace.